Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Mike's Likes. I'm Mike, and this is what I like. It is May 15th. May 14th, Target stopped selling. I looked at an article that said temporary. I haven't bought any since Thursday. It's now Saturday. I am having withdrawals. And then that is a tin I found when I went back to my mom's house. Pretty cool. There is a box of cards, different ones in there too. So that's a sneak peek. So let's go ahead and open this booster pack. I feel actually pretty dirty. I learned one thing during COVID. So, man, show, man, show. Zubat. What is it? Crochet Zubat? What? No hollow. So that sucks. 29. Damn, she fine. So last time we talked, I ran out of sleeves for all my cards. And since that time, I bought more cards. Recap, I have these two that I got, some promo cards. I got these from Target, a couple different days apart. I had some individual booster packs. I got some more and uh, I have a story for that. And then I had these two bad boys duplicates with the EV, no, the Jolteon promo. There was an EV promo card that I wanted, but I couldn't find that specific one at Target. Today is May 22nd. Target stopped selling the cards last week. I think I mentioned that in the last video. So I found a store called Shields. There's one here in Kansas. I would never been to, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. They had probably a hundred booster packs just lined up and you could buy as many as you wanted. I only got four. There's the four different Pokemon on each uh, front of the packs. They had also basketball cards. I think you can only buy five of them. But Pokemon card, they were like, no, buy as many as you want, buddy. And I said, okay, I'll just get four. I don't want to go bankrupt. Today we're gonna open some packs. I was really excited that Shields had them. And it looks like that's the place. And it's funny because online, I think you can only get 20. And when you go in person, they're like, take as many as you want. And I was like, okay, you're talking to the right kind of guy. Because I almost did, but I was like, eh, I want to eat this week. So without further ado, we're gonna open up some packs. I haven't opened up a booster with a token in a while, so that's cool. We're just gonna throw this to the side because trainer code. Okay, promo card is a little bent, so that's fun. That's what we like here is bent cards. And we got our first blue token, because before we had red ones. Oh, Mewtwo, that is shiny. I like the way that is cooking. Okay, man, put that up there. Don't need that bad boy. Arrokuda! Promo card, as you can see at the bottom. Okay, the camera is doing well today. I decided I'm just gonna do the basic sleeve on all these to start out. And then we can get the blue deck protectors on. We go top in first, as Cardi B says, from the top. Make a drop, that's a... <laughs> We're gonna keep it clean today. First card, okay, we got our promo, nice. Hey, Rakuda. Never heard of that Pokemon until today. What do you know? We're gonna have to get a mat soon to put things on and make it look a little nicer. All right, Oops. remember, you always open up this way. Just trying not to ruin any cards. That goes over there. Trainer card. I don't have any special rules. I just pull them and see what we get. First, we're gonna have Weeping Bell. Pretty cool. Dangerous Mucus. That's gross. Card number two, I believe. It should be because I already had the Bell Sprout. What's next? Anything fancy? Oh, well, if you drop the card, that doesn't help. Luxio, I already got you, buddy. But it's still a cool card. I will show it to you. I'm gonna try in these future videos actually show the artwork of the cards. Whether you've seen them or not, doesn't matter to me. Ooh, Escape Rope. That sounds a little kinky, but okay. Everybody's got to get out of there, you know? Want to get away? Let's get hollow. Nope, green energy. All right, keeping it green, keeping it clean. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that is a hollow, baby. That is a hollow octillery. Woot woot. That is shiny. I'm trying to get the camera light on it. So I'm going to actually sleeve that one. What's next? We already hit that hollow first, so uh, early. Ooh, that is, is that reverse hollow? I cannot see. No, that looks like a normal. That is a gold bag. Okay, look at that. That's a discreet draw. Let's see, what is next? Bell Sprout. Already gotcha, but okay. Decent card. Electabuzz. I already have you. I thought I didn't, but okay. The Haymaker. Fighting attack. Probably already got our best card, unless we get a new card. Gligar. I don't think I had a Gligar. We'll take that. Gligar's a fighting type, but it flies and it's a bat. Okay. Hey, do what you want to do. Be whoever you want to be. Hone Edge. You were interesting the first time. Second time, don't know. And then last but not least, Scatterbug. I've never had a scatter bug. There we go. New card alert. So we'll go ahead and sleeve these bad boys. I'm trying to get down to the science now. These sleeves are so nice. These are the KMC. I think they're called perfect sleeves. I had the wrapper somewhere. Yeah, it's the perfect. You got a hundred of these bad boys. 
That's a deal. So we got some more room now because we actually got ourselves a tripod for the other camera. That's why the angle is better. We're not stacking it on top of old boxes and Pokemon cards that I found in a mom's place. Moving up in the world here at Mike's Likes. We are uh, not a business. We're family. I love when these sleeves just slide in. It's like when you put socks on and they just go right on your feet and you don't have them bunching up and all uncomfortable. So they just got basic sleeves on all of these guys. Nice. These were harder to come by. Same company, but they did not carry as many of them. I only got them because I saw a guy who plays magic. He swore by these bad boys. He said they were great at protection, that the perfect sleeve fits perfectly inside them. And look at that. You can tell by like the 95% push in part, if it's gonna be a problem. Exactly 95%. I measured it myself with math. Boom, Electabuzz, shocking. I still thought was a little disappointed with Electabuzz and Pokemon Go, because I thought it was gonna be a lot cool, more cool, cooler, whatever, honestly. Not to evolve it to Electivire. So hopefully you all are enjoying these videos. Exciting polls, funny comments made. We're just here for a grand old time. It sucks these are just promo cards and they aren't actually a part of the set. Yeah, I guess we'll find out if that becomes anything. I have not valued any of these cards. It's funny, when I went to Shields, it was obvious nobody there cared about Pokemon. When I was checking out, he's like, oh, you gonna make a lot of money off these? And I was like, it's like, I haven't yet. I'm just collecting. Maybe that's weird to some people. It's a lot better than collecting bigger stuff that takes up all your room and then your fiance says you have to throw it all away and then you have resentment until you're an old man. And there's Octillery. All I can say is don't judge Pokemon just off Pokemon Go. At least collect the cards. I'd play the main series games and just have some fun with it. The Pokemon are a lot better in the games than Pokemon Go. The first one done. Octillery was probably my favorite one. I'm gonna put these all in the binder and then we'll come back. We just finished putting away our, our pack we just had. Now we're gonna do another one. This has another promo card, Charmander. I actually just finished the Indigo League series. So the very first season of Pokemon it's on Netflix. We got that trainer card. Trying to get it out. Charmander was pretty chill, pretty, pretty cool in the series. But about near the end of season one, he became Charmeleon. Ah! Struggle bus, throw that away. Got another Mewtwo coin. Charmeleon was a bad boy. He did not want to listen at all. Look at that. Just the detail. How oh, from one angle, it's just like, oh, there's nothing there. And then kaboom, kaboom. I don't know if that's the official sound of fire or not, but it is on this channel. I think season two may be on Netflix, but I don't think season three is. We actually go to Pokemon.com. You can stream seasons of there. It's free. You can just sign up to your email. And they're just gonna email you about Pokemon stuff every day for the rest of your life. <laughs> Nothing too big of a deal. Let's see what we got here. I'm feeling good. Feeling good about this set. All right, we're gonna flippy flip. It was upside down. New trainer card, a scroll of swirls. That looks like toilet paper. Let's do something. Pig Knight, did not have Pig Knight. I do have Tepig, a single strike. Ram and combustion. Interesting, he's eating, wow. He's a pig when it comes to eating. Next, we're gonna have Kaboom! Double Blade, almost said Double Shade. That is probably what that last sword Pokemon evolves from. Yep, cause it's right there. Ho, ho, nag, ho, ho. Something, something with a sword. Kaboom! Energy, red energy, okay. Did my howl come after my energy last time? Is that what the gist that we're getting? Oops, <laughs> dropped it, whatever this is. Phalanx, it looks like there's multiple Pokemon in there. I don't even know what that is. That looks like Meta Knight almost from Super Smash Bros. I don't know, but that's new. Kaboom! Ooh, that is, is that a reverse hollow? That is a reverse hollow weeping bell. You can tell, see? Uh, it's not on the picture, it's only on the body. Cause that's the reverse hollow. Smart guy, he's a smart guy. We're learning, we're having fun. Good clean fun for the whole family. That's probably the best card, unless there's a VMAX. Nope, Cubone. I think I have you, but Cubone's really cool. Sad story, that skull is his mother's skull. That's dark. This is for kids. What is this, Magic the Gathering? Kaboom, Remoroid. Well, we just got Octillery, so there we go. Looks like it's twig, a br stone, brick. It's like balancing with water. Looks like artillery's in the back. I wonder if there's like a rever another artwork. Kaboom! Nope, Fomantis, already got you. So not too excited, sorry. 
been there, <laughs> done that. Kaboom! Galarian Slowpoke. How is it Galarian? Is that the sunshine or does it actually have a disc, different color head and tail? Rookie here. Kaboom, the last card. Mankey. Mankey's a jerk, first of all, if you didn't know. All right, so let's leave these cards. Mankey beat the mess out of Ash. And I don't know if that was when he evolved to Primeape or whatnot, but then he let him go. He was like, oh, you should train here. It was something to do with that. Ash is always letting his Pokemon go. I wonder if it's just because they didn't develop the storyline as if they're human, but they are, they matter. I'm trying to think, aside from Pikachu, does Ash keep any Pokemon that don't have two evolutions, so like three stages? Because he has the three starters. Squirtle, Boba Fett, Soar, Charmander, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Technically, if you count Pichu to Pikachu to Raichu, but Pichu didn't exist when you got Pikachu, and that's just weird. When you get to the baby Pokemon, you're kind of cheating. But Pikachu is just lovable. Favorite Pokemon for me. It's just a really cute character. It's more than just about to a Pokemon. It has character to it. Random thought. Why don't Team Rocket get more Pokemon? Why do they only have one Pokemon each? We know your type weakness. You're not going to win. One of the last episodes of season one, there was a the Pokemon Master. There's some invitation thing. You gotta take all these tests. James and Jesse, the Team Rocket characters, if you don't know, or if you care, went undercover to try and do that. They get their Pokemon taken away from them because they just have to use three random ones. James gets Pikachu. And if you've watched the show, Pikachu messes Team Rocket up. Just uses Thunderbolt because electricity is just so badass. Constantly just doing Thunderbolt on him. He gets Pikachu, or just a Random Pikachu as his third Pokemon. He's like, oh, I know what to do. I know all his moves. You know, he's so dramatic because it's, it's anime, so it's got a little drama to it. He tried doing Thunderbolt. If you watch the whole season, Ash didn't know that electricity doesn't affect rock, and neither did James because he tried it on Graveler, and Graveler messed up that Pikachu. I don't know why he didn't just do Quick Attack, but who am I? I'm just the guy that just started collecting Pokemon cards in the last 30 days. No knowledge. Ah, uh, it's one of the bad decks. If it starts to snag at all, it's not a good one. It's just, that's how it is. Dublade. Dublade! Or is it Dublade? I should probably look up the, how to pronounce these cards. I might do basketball. I don't think I want to do football cards because I feel like they probably have linemen too. And I was a lineman in high school, but it's like with basketball, it's like your 10th best player can score a basket. In football, can your 10th best player score a touchdown? No, on offense, number 10 would be like your left tackle. And then on defense, I guess. I was too much in depth for this video. Yeah, with basketball, I think it'd be pretty cool. Plus, like I said, Shields, that store I went to, you can buy up to five, they're 20 bucks. I couldn't tell how many cards were coming in that, that box. It said guarantee at least one autograph card. And I like basketball a lot. And I figure there's more basketball players I will like and care about as far as wanting their autograph. Football, eh, I really like football, but I really just watch the Chiefs play. I mean, I play fantasy. I just know if I did football, I would find cards of players and be like, oh yeah, you. It's like, no. I mean, there are a lot of great players. Don't get me wrong. We don't collect everybody's card, okay? Let's be adults. Or reverse hollows thicker? I don't know. And I just never even thought about that. Two hours later. So we're still trying to do this. I'm gonna try the way I've never done it. Nope, that actually... Okay, we're gonna try a different perfect sleeve. Nope, that one didn't work either. Have I lost my skill of sleeping already? It's time to retire. I just want to throw all these cards away now. <laughs> all for reverse hollow weeping bell. Probably worth five cents on the Pokemark. How far can I get? We're mostly there. There we go. That's what I'm gonna start doing because that took way too long and nobody cares about a reverse Halloween theme bell. I will, I will use that as toilet paper later. I'm just going to do this, be gentle. Cause look, it's already in one sleeve. It's not gonna die. Okay, and Pokemon don't even die, they faint, although. What about Cubone's mom? There we go, boom. Okay, we're done with that one. I'm gonna put these away.